I don't like to use his name. It's like a curse word to me. In an interview Wednesday with Spectrum News, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi initially was reluctant to say the words Donald Trump. But she made clear she does not think the former president has the country's best interests at heart. He is someone who's still invoking your name, mm -hmm. and his supporters were chanting your name on January 6th. Mm -hmm. I mean, are, are you yeah, they were gonna. They said they were going to put a f bullet in my friggin' head. That's do, what they said, yeah. Do, do you have concerns for your safety or your family's safety if Donald well, Trump was Well, our, our family's already been attacked in our own home. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I do, but uh, and that's what I tell the members is we, we ask you know we we stepped into the arena, but our families didn't, and that shouldn't it shouldn't happen that way. When it comes to the next election here in the U.S., Pelosi says Democrats have to win and focus on unifying the country. What's the biggest challenge facing America right now? I think that right now the biggest problem for our country is in the person of Donald Trump and the hate that he spews forth and the disrespect that he has for our Constitution uh, and the, the uh, disrespect he had for the office of president. He was uh, impeached twice, defeated once. I hope he's ready for another defeat. Pelosi says one of the reasons she remained in Congress after stepping down from leadership is to help get President Joe Biden reelected. One issue that's complicating that reelection effort is the divide amongst Democrats on Israel's handling of its war with Hamas. I also believe a majority of the Israeli public will recognize the need for change. Pelosi said she shared Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's call for a new election in Israel. Netanyahu has proven that he, he's had been in power back and forth for a long time. He isn't interested in peace. He's only interested in his own political survival. Pelosi defended Schumer for his comments, which have been sharply criticized by Netanyahu and Republicans in Congress. It was a speech of courage and it was a speech of love for, for Israel. In Washington. Cassie Simeon, Spectrum News.